Well, hello and welcome to the Tuesday DC Today. A uh, big rally day in markets, and I'm just going to cover kind of the quick highlights as I'm getting ready to go into a meeting. But I would have expected a more tame day the day before CPI. So some conspiracy theorists might say, well, perhaps they've already leaked the CPI is going to be really weak and that's going to bring on the bulls. Uh, others may just say that there were uh, traders setting up positions today in front of the CPI move today. Who knows? It's entirely possible the rally continues tomorrow. It's entirely possible we flatline. And of course, it's possible we give everything back. But these days, there has been a lot a back and forth volatility. This is an underlying theme of what we've predicted for some time. A lot of moves up, a lot of moves down, and in the end, not a huge secular direction one way or the other. This is the kind of market we're in. It is the kind of market we've been in. And being up 400 points in a couple of days and being down 400 points last week in a day or two, that's the back and forth uh, reality of the market that we're in. Um, so, yes, tomorrow the CPI number for the month of June will come out. Today, the NFIB small business optimism number came out. It's not what moved markets today. It's not a big enough deal to do so. But it did reach a seven-month high, and there is a little surge of confidence uh, coming about from small businesses that certainly has to be taken into account. Um, a couple other news tidbits that are not real relevant to the market, and then I'll give you the recap of today's market day. The um, A lot of stuff coming out of China, I'm finding more and more interesting uh, that the, some of the policy measures they're going to to support their property market, to support some of the construction companies. Uh, there's a lot of, shall we say, Japan-like activity going on in China. And the, uh, some of these things I'm referring to in the property sector are more recent in the last 24, 48 hours but the bigger theme of whether or not China may choose to go down a Japanification path in terms of the way they deal with some of their deflationary pressures right now is a very big deal. And I'm definitely going to devote a whole Dividend Cafe to that subject in the coming weeks. I'm, I'm in the midst of quite a bit of research on it. Uh, interesting tidbit. It was in the news that Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett, took a 75% interest in one of the country's major LNG export facilities, liquefied natural gas. We only have seven operational facilities in the whole country that can deliver liquefied natural gas away from our shores to global customers, whether they be elsewhere in North America or Asia, Europe, etc. Uh, kind of a big activity there. And of course, it's a space we've been invested in for many years and we care deeply about. So the Dow was up over 300 points today, 1%. The S&P was up about 0.67%. The NASDAQ was up half a percent. Bonds were up a little bit as the 10-year Treasury dropped three basis points in yield. Energy was the leading sector at 2.2%. A lot of asset managers and financials did very well today. Um, and then the worst performing sector was healthcare, which was still basically flat up 0.01%. So you had all 11 sectors in green territory. And then oil uh, was up 2.47% almost back to $75 a barrel. A longer question came about uh, in the Ask David today about whether or not it is true that when the United States uh, buys things from other countries and pays them in dollars, whether or not those dollars do end up benefiting the U.S. economy. And I thought it was a great question that allowed me to unpack a little more economic truth for you, which is one of my favorite things to do. So read the Ask David in DC today. Clients will receive their weekly portfolio holding support tomorrow, along with a very special uh, kind of first half of the year video preview, and we'll go from there. That's about all I got today. Um, Brian Seitel will bring you DC today tomorrow as I will be flying to Washington, DC, uh, and I will be bringing it to you from Washington, DC on Thursday. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading the DC today. Mm -hmm.